so overwhelmed, like so overwhelmed about um, studying. So I made a table and this table is based on the Conviso mini review. Now it's got constitutional, civil procedure, criminal procedure, criminal law, evidence, real property, contracts and sales, torts, um, agency, trusts, corporations, uh, partnership and limited liability companies, wills, secured transactions, conflicts of interest and family law and basically what this table is is a breakdown of each topic so for example evidence so we've got general considerations relevance judicial notice those are the three topics that i'll be doing on a certain day then it's got real evidence and documentary evidence i'll be doing that on another day then it's got testimonial evidence which i'll do on another day the hearsay rule on another day and procedural considerations on another day so basically what this is is i can just go into this pick a topic say from evidence that i want to do then i can go say pick a topic from wills maybe or partnership and liability but i've chunked it together so i know how much i can do uh, how much reading i can do um on that day so there's also a third column so what i've done is i have got the topic then the notes on and then a tick box for each of them so basically that is my reading list which i've put on the wall and that's going to help me and i'm just going to show you guys the convisor as well when Barbary send you your box they'll send you a book like this but that book will be called the Convisor mini review what I did because you know it's overwhelming for me otherwise I actually just ripped it apart I took out different sections so this is civil procedure I stapled it together on the side and if you look at the contents page you see there's personal jurisdiction diversity so in my timetable, I chunked different sections of reading. So there's no way I could do all of civil procedure on the same day. It would just be too much. So I just literally do one section. So maybe put just personal jurisdiction on one day. So I'll go ahead and I will read that. And as you can see, I have already started reading and highlighting, which is so important. But on the same day, what I am doing is not just reading because what I'm going to do after I've read is look at the 10 writing questions for the ME um, which is the essays so um, I took those out as well and I read through these as well um, some of them depending on the day and then what I do after that is use these study keys. So for example, we have civil procedure. Now these study keys are amazing. I absolutely love them, but they're not coming out. They're not coming out. They will. Yeah, got it out. So what this has is it's got a section. So getting the right parties in the right court. So it will have a rule and then at, sorry about this, the bottom of this will say J1. Then what you do is you go to the elements section. Then you have J1 at the bottom. So now what I have is I have a rule. And that rule is personal jurisdiction. I've got the elements of that, which is the exercise of jurisdiction must be authorised by a state statute and constitutional um, i.e. the defendant must have purposeful minimum contact with the forum such that the exercise of jurisdiction over the defendant in the forum state is fair and reasonable. Now, the thing is, you've got a rule, you've got an element and it's very hard to remember. So we have a story that helps us and it says J1 at the bottom just to show you guys. J1, J1, and J1. There you go. 
So what's the story? Well, Al is driving through Wisconsin on his way to his vacation house in Minnesota. Because Al is in a hurry to start his vacation, he is speeding through Wisconsin and driving somewhat recklessly. While doing so, he accidentally sides wipes Bob, who is badly injured in the accident. Bob does not have good health insurance and wishes to sue out in Wisconsin. Now, this helps you apply the element of the rule. So these are really good to kind of understand as well at the end of that day. So the table helps me choose the topics that I'm covering. And it's kind of, you know, help me see how many topics there are. But what I'm doing is I'm not making new notes because that was too time consuming for me. So for me, all I'm doing is taking the section, really reading it, really understanding it. Then also looking at a few essays, which I pulled out from the MEE section. And then, you know, going about my day. So I'm not just focusing on the the seven main topics i'm also looking at the essays topics as well which is like wheels on the same day so i'll choose one of the seven mbe topics which are covered in um, both mbe and mee sections of the exam but then i also choose an essay topic because i find that the essay topics are more straightforward <laughs> so they're easier to understand and just nicer to read essays so I'm getting that practice in and I I um, feel that it's more spaced out so basically what I'm doing is also using this multi-state performance test, test workbook and I haven't pulled this one apart because I don't feel there's a need to pull this apart so it's got a table of content so it tells me how to approach the MPT but I found the lectures really great for that as well. What I'm doing though is this. It has sample documents so it tells you sample will, sample trust, sample affidavit, all of these different things that kind of come up so you need to know how to kind of write all of these. So they're chunked into different sections for that sorry yeah so this is great um to kind of familiarize yourself and what i do is on the weekends saturday and sunday i attempt two mpts and maybe three essays but every day what i am doing every day is trying to memorize these cards trying to understand the topic and then using the MBE practice questions that Barbara has provided on the multi-edge multi platform and also just using the MBE by topic practice questions because then I'm testing myself after having done the reading and then writing down um, things to remember. The way I do that is write the rules that I need to memorize on a whiteboard as I'm going through the MBE and then if I need to I then add those rules to the composer so then when I read it again I'm going to remember that you know you you got some questions wrong from here um you know remember those rules again try to memorize them and uh, that's what I'm going to be doing. So I'll let you guys know how this goes. But the exam is coming up. So let's see. Fingers crossed it goes well.